Welcome to God of Brother. This is Will Sanchez. Thank you for tuning in. I have a very special guest today. Her name is Anna Marcatelli. She is a guide for Achilles International. This is a very special episode of Gotta Run. We're dedicating this episode to Anna's mom and her uncle Stephen, who have passed away recently. I'm thrilled to have Anna as my guest. Thank you, Will. Happy to be here. Anna, the first question mm -hmm. people ask me when I meet them in the streets, mm -hmm. my fans, well, how did you meet so-and-so? How did you get that person on the show? Mm -hmm. So we met yes. in an interesting way. We have. Yes, it's a photo. Mm -hmm. I was a couple, it was a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. I was on the Dashing Whippets website, and they have these fantastic photographers. And in this particular case, Tom Flanagan mm -hmm. shot a bunch of photos of the Whippets doing the Staten Island half. Yep. I was skimming through, and wow, I saw a lot of yellow, and I said, oh, <laughs> this is not a whippet, this is the Achilles. Achilles. <laughs> and it was a great photo because you were both smiling. Mm -hmm. You were there with Mauricio Blandito, yep. who's a guest. Yes. I know Mauricio because I have other Achilles athletes, mm -hmm. and his pictures always show up in their photos. So I said, oh, this guy's everywhere. He must be a really important. <laughs> he's one important, of our Achilles celebrities. <laughs> he's very, he's very uh, confident, and he's mm -hmm. very, very good. So I tagged that photo because we were Facebook friends, mm -hmm. and immediately Mauricio thanks me because he thought that was the best photo he had of you and was going to use it for his fundraising. Mm -hmm. It came to my mind again. I saw this interview that we did with the editor of Runner's World. Mm -hmm. And he was one of the early editors, and he was saying that at the beginning, all the runners wanted to know just four things. They wanted to know about shoes. Mm -hmm. They wanted to know about training. They wanted to know about nutrition. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to know about injury prevention. Mm -hmm. And that cycle repeated itself for many, many years. And then he said, Runners were now asking for inspiration. Mm -hmm. They wanted to know how to get out the door. Mm -hmm. When I heard that, when I heard that, I said, wow, I'm inspired by photos. And I guess realized that Achilles International inspires me mm -hmm. through what they do and through that photo yes. that you and Mauricio had. Do you know what the photo I'm talking I do. about? It's, do you remember it's one anything? of my favorite photos, yeah. too, from that really? race. <laughs> I was actually not even signed up to run the race. I, I ran Staten Island once a couple years ago prior to that race. Um, it was terrible weather. It was raining and cold. I said, I'm never doing it again. No more Staten Island half marathon. Mauricio is a good friend of mine. We run together through Achilles during our Saturday workouts. I think a couple of days before, uh, reached out to me. He needed a guide. I think his guide he was running with had to back out, or he needed a guide last minute. I can't say no to Mauricio, he's such a great guy. So I said, I'll put aside my dislike for this race and I'll sign up and run it with you. Signed up last minute, we get to Staten Island and it was probably one of the most fun races I've ran. Um, we both ran very well ourselves that day too. Beautiful weather, which didn't hurt. <laughs> I remember there's part of the race that's an out and back loop where that photo was taken. And as we're running out, there are people in the, the center meridian with megaphones cheering, people that we know from our running teams, people we see crossing the other way. So it was more of a fun party than a, a grueling half marathon. Mm -hmm. um, we stopped and took pictures along the way. We had an amazing time, and it was even better because I got to run it with Mauricio. Yeah, but well, this was an inaccurate photo. Looks yes. like Tom was yelling, go Achilles, I think because you were both we, we turning. Both, it was a great shot. We're both looking at the same time. We're holding hands. It's... I know. It's a great photo. I, I looked at it a couple of times because every time I looked at it, I learned something new. I didn't realize until I looked at it, oh, you're the guide yep. and Mauricio <laughs> I think is he's the actually athlete. ahead of me pulling my hand along in the future. Yeah, too, I said, wait a minute, it looks like that. just a perfect action shot. It was. And you were just about pulling away from the photographer, yep. so he just caught you at the he, right time. Amazing photo. <laughs> it is. And like I said, yes. Tom, he's also an athlete. He runs and he does a lot of the great photos for the Dashing Whippets, the mm -hmm. great team. They're blessed, actually, with several wonderful photographers. Great photographers. But anyway, but Achilles. Let's yes. go back to how did you discover Achilles? I think I first became aware of Achilles through New York Cares. I signed up through a, a whole bunch of different projects that way and then I was running the marathon and saw the yellow shirts and the guides and didn't really know what it was. Um, saw the listing on the posting on New York Cares. 
why not? I'll sign up. And I remember when I first went to the Saturday workout uh, years ago, I was so afraid. I'm like, what if I, I lose my athlete? What if I can't run? I can't do this. Um, so I started walking with athletes. We'd walk around the reservoir. Or I'd um, wait with the guide dogs and kind of ease my way into it. And then I just met so many amazing people through Achilles, athletes, guides, friends, supporters that I'm, I've been guiding now for about three or four years. Excellent. So you said before you started Achilles, you already had done a marathon. Yep. I, my first marathon was 2016 in New York. Okay. Now, that was a very special marathon was, in a couple yes. of ways. I think your dad inspired you to... He did. My dad ran the New York City Marathon in the early 90s. I wanted to, in a little competitive family that we have, wanted to beat his time. So almost on a whim, I signed up for the marathon thinking I can do it. Um, if dad can do it, I can. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> Turns out that was not the case. Dad's pretty fast when he was younger. <laughs> but at the start of my training, um, as you mentioned before, I think when we started, my mother unexpectedly passed away. So that kind of definitely put marathon training on the back burner. It was the week of my 16 week plan was kicking off. Uh -huh. um, so didn't get as focused as I needed to in the beginning. Um, took a while to get back into it once my family all sorted out. But I, I stuck to it and I actually did that marathon in honor of my mom. I wore a back bib that said run for Pam, who was my mom too in her honor. And even hearing people cheer for her and cheer for that as I'm running over the bridges of Queens and Brooklyn, it's, it was really inspirational. Probably saying go Pam. Yeah, like go like Pam. That. I'm like, well, it's not me, but <laughs> okay. I appreciate it. It was, it was a great feeling of just like unity in the running community and the supporters, everyone coming out and it's, I would imagine she was very, very proud of you. She was. She came to, I think, all of my races. She'd come out to Brooklyn, all the New York ones, New Jersey that I did. She was my biggest fan. So it was a, a lot to, to deal with right when. This is four happened. years ago This now? was summer 2016. 2016. So sorry for your loss. You. It's, it's never easy to lose a yeah. parent regardless of age. Oh, wow. Baby. And she also um, inspired me to get involved with Achilles, too. So she was very involved with volunteering and stewardship. Even when my sister and I were in grade school, um, up until high school, she was always there for us and like our class mom. Um, so volunteering with Achilles is kind of my way of giving back and honoring her every week when I run out with oh, my athletes. excellent, excellent. So you're honoring your mom in so many different ways. I am. I'm trying. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you're dead. You can yet gotta be proud too. He Did is. you beat his time, by I, the way? I didn't well, but I'm getting very close. I'm a couple minutes away and this might be the year that I do. So you're doing New York again? I'm doing New York again this year. Okay. Yeah. But Anna, let's go back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. Tell us where you were born and something about your childhood years. Yep. So I'm born in Colonia, New Jersey, um, central Jersey, small town. I've been living in New York now for almost ten years since I graduated college. Uh, growing up, I was never really that athletic, <laughs> was never really a runner, um, tried basketball, softball, didn't really succeed at any of them. <laughs> Coordination was not there, no, okay. no. <laughs> but I had fun. I had tried a bunch of things. Um, my sister and I danced a lot when we were young, too. So I joined my high school track team running the hurdles because I thought I could use my ballet dance skills. and. I wasn't much better, but I tried. <laughs> I kept going out uh, week after week, and it was still a lot of fun ways to meet people and say oh, involved. interesting. Ballet. Yes. Oh, so ballet, this is where you, you stand on your toes yep. and, and your feet goes out? Yes. Oh. Lovely, beautiful ballets. <laughs> oh. Cracker. Well, it's interesting. I was reading some time ago that probably the worst dance to do and be a runner with ballet. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> My feet the, are suffering from that now. <laughs> because the feet aren't doing what in running, you want to go straight in yeah. ballet. Or, so you, you discovered that your feet were... <laughs> they're not They're not happy with me. But, <laughs> but you kept both going? I did. I stopped dancing um, probably around high school when I took up track. Okay. But, okay. Between you and your sister, was the better runner? Um, she's not a runner, but she's a great supporter. Oh, okay. She, um, she comes to all, all my races, too. We actually went to Berlin together when I ran the Berlin Marathon. She was the best cheerleader out there. She had signs. She was running around on the course. It was, oh, wow. as I so, counted the kilometers, it got me through. <laughs> so obviously that first New York City, you ran it in honor of your mom, mm -hmm. but you really enjoyed it and you got the great support. Yeah. And your family was out there. And yes, everything. and it makes it's all just, the difference, seeing people you know in the crowds. It's, okay. Okay, this is before you started Achilles. Yeah. So after you ran New York, mm -hmm. what was your thinking in terms of athletic? Yep. I knew I could improve. <laughs> I knew I, I well, loved the, the that. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I knew I wanted to stay involved with the marathon too. Um, it was probably my favorite day that 
um, weekend in November every year. So I was really happy to find Achilles and be able to help athletes complete their goals of completing a marathon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Achilles is great. I've had many, many Achilles athletes. Mm -hmm. So when you were in New Jersey, did you go to high school there? I did. I went to high school in New Jersey. Track, you said, I did. And dance. Which college did you go to? I went to Providence College in Rhode Island. Okay. And what was your major? I studied quantitative economics and math and a minor in finance. Wow. <laughs> it's not easy field. No, but I, I love numbers. My dad was an accountant, so okay. I think I get that from him. Oh, okay. So, uh, so, so you inherited the, the, yes. the numbers. As much as I try to go off on my own, I have a very similar business oh, sense okay. like my dad. Okay. So after college, you, I'm sure you wanted to find a career for yourself, your niche. Yes. So where did you go to work? Yep. I started work at an investment bank in Stamford, Connecticut. Um, I lived in the city right by my sister, and I commuted up to Connecticut every day um, until we relocated to the city. And I'm actually still at that company in a different capacity, okay. but um, same firm Which after almost 10 years. It's UBS Investment Bank. What's it called? UBS it's just Investment Bank. These initials stand for anything? Um, no, it's a Swiss bank. Okay. Swiss Investment Bank. UBS. It used to be the Union Bank of Switzerland, but now it's oh, just UBS. Okay. okay. Well, it sounds like they may have satellite offices in Switzerland. They do. That's actually our headquarters. <laughs> Great. So you sometimes, hopefully you get to travel there. Yes. I've traveled to London and India with the company, too. So I've been very fortunate to have lots of positive experiences. Oh, great, great. And you're a financial wizard? I like to think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, what do, do, so are you analyzing their portfolios, their investments, or mm -hmm. what, what do you do? So the team I work with now is more of a lending team. Um, so it's more capital focused and lending money out to different corporate clients. Ah, okay. So UPS is what kind of bank? I'm part of the investment bank. Okay. We have a sales and trading division too. We have a wealth management arm, uh -huh. more like the retail side. Many capacities in oh, okay. the firm. Oh, okay. We do a little of everything. Okay. Well, in, back in the day, I did some work in uh, on Wall Street, uh -huh. and I'm a little bit familiar with investment banking mm -hmm. and uh, the things they do. They lend money to, to each other and yep. just, stuff like that. <laughs> uh, remember rebates and yeah. uh, haircuts. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so those terms hasn't still changed much. No. <laughs> Yes. All right. So you're still there. So, I am, yes. So how many years is that now? It's coming up on 10 years this summer. So that's pretty unusual it for is. one person same, to stay same for, um, I think it's a great company to work for. I have amazing coworkers. I've moved around internally a few times, too, so it's big on um, internal mobility and... It's really just a good place to work. I like okay, it there. Great. Obviously, they're very supportive. Yes, in, definitely. Uh, having you uh, do these uh, these events because done New York, you said two or three times, three or four times now, right? Um, New York's marathon four times. Yes. Okay, so the first time. Once on my own, then three as a guide. Okay, and now you have got a another marathon coming up. I do. In uh, April, tell yes, us about that. My first springtime marathon too. <laughs> um, so the training plan is a, a little new to me, but I'll be running the London marathon at the end of this April. And I think it's a for a special reason. It is. I'm running on behalf of the American Cancer Society as they're part of um, their team determination. So this is where I'm, I'm really honoring my uncle, my dad's brother, Stephen, who passed away this past summer um, after a very long battle with colon cancer. I'm so sorry to hear that. Thank you. Damn, colon cancer. Oh, oh. oh yeah, it's... Um, Cancer sucks. It, it definitely does. But you got to keep going, and great that you're honoring his memory. Right. During my first marathon, before I ran with Achilles, he, his wife, and kids came in. They were actually cheering with my dad and sister. I saw them on First Avenue when we were coming up. Um, so it's, it's pretty special. Off the bridge. Yeah. yeah. I saw them there, then we all had dinner together afterwards, and it was very special. My yeah, first New York. The first one's always special. Yeah, it really was. Oh, it was great to have all the family. <laughs> I know, it really is. Okay, and the other ones, of course, are special because you were doing Achilles. Yes. Okay, so in those particular Achilles one, what was memorable? You know, obviously, you, did you run the whole marathon with an Achilles from start I to did. finish? I did. The first year I ran with Sarah Heller, we ran the whole full marathon together. And then last two, I ran with Raymond Murphy both amazing Achilles athletes, who I still run with oh, okay. weekly. Oh, well, I, <laughs> I know workouts. the name, Raymond Murphy. Yes. People have asked me to look into him yes. as a possible They're guest. They're both very animated and great overall oh, people. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, right. I talk to other athletes, and sometimes they pair off to run the half. Yeah, they'll switch else. out at like the 13-mile mark. Okay. About to finish the marathon. Sydney is so start, yeah, start to, to you're finish. There. So you're you're full fledged. Uh, I am. You can get the money We're dedicated. For it, yes, yeah. definitely. It's still a, an amazing day. Even taking the buses there bright and early in the morning when it's pitch dark outside, uh, waiting at the start village in Staten Island, and then crossing the finish line, hearing. Way to go! Great job out there.
Melanie is about to finish the marathon. Sydney is about to finish the marathon. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's one of my favorite okay. days. All right, let's go back to London. Yes. So, London's very tough to get into. It I think is. It's, I think it's lottery. It's it's a lottery, and the odds are not in your favor. <laughs> and right, right. And I think you got to... They want to get there early because yeah. it's, it's such a popular one. Yes. So, you're running it through the... Uh, American Cancer Society. Society. The Their determination. team determination, yes. Oh, I know the coach for that one, the coach Ramon Burma. Ah, yes. He's great. <laughs> is he one of your... I think he will be. Um, now that we're getting closer to the date, there's a lot more meetups happening and um, hopefully weekly workouts in the park and more chances for us to connect with the other members of our team who we'll meet when we're in London. Oh, he's terrific. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of years of, oh. of experience. He started out of team and training. Oh, wow. He did it Leukemia for 10 and years. Lymphoma, and society. and now I think he's, I think he just hit his 10 year anniversary wow. with the American Cancer Society. So it's, it's, great. it's a great team, it's a great effort. And, and it's nice to have everybody, you know, there in London or yes. whatever the mm -hmm. event so is. Like meet up all your teammates and coaches. It's okay, great. So yeah. it's a fundraiser, so mm -hmm. I'm going to have your lower thirds on and uh, yes. people can find you yes. if they want to donate. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there a minimum amount of money? To I'm, my goal is $10,000. I'm a little more than halfway there. You should have some minimum. Yeah, that's the minimum. I think oh, wow. I, I think I can surpass that though. Uh, okay. <laughs> People this are very your, generous when they hear what the cause is for. Marathon. This is my second. Second. Yeah, Berlin first? was my first. Oh. My sister and I had a week together in Berlin. Okay, she was a cheerleader. <laughs> she was. She was the number one fan. No, did you do better time in Berlin? I did. Um, I didn't know what to expect going into it. I felt like kind of unprepared. Um, I think I booked my hotel and flight a week before because I didn't really, it didn't hit me that I was actually running. In it. Um, but we got there and it couldn't have been smoother. The people in Berlin were so amazing. All the runners, they really do a great job of the race and organizing everything too. So we had a phenomenal experience. Um, Highly recommend it. Okay, well, it's it's a very popular one. Yes. It's a very fast marathon. It That's is. where the world records are yes, set. Yes, that, that was the year I did it. So, I think you it know, was, yeah. So, it's, you sort of more than half expected to do a PR because right. hey, this is a fast marathon. It was. The weather, the weather was weather be perfect, yes. Oh, excellent. So I guess you're partly on, on your way to do the majors, right? I know. That one Chicago. will be my fourth. Chicago's done. I'll have Boston and Tokyo be the last oh, two. Oh, wow. Tokyo. Yes. That's a, That's a tough one, too. Well, let's, let's talk a little bit about your Uncle Stephen. Tell us what kind of guy was he? Yep. Uncle Stephen was my dad's youngest brother. Um, my dad was one of five. He was always a, a happy, uh, cheerful guy. He worked in finance too at a firm in Princeton, New Jersey. Just a, a great person to be around. free time he'd always make sausage and pizza and never an empty plate in the kitchen he was a, a great inspiration now oh, too. great was he uh, like your dad run the marathon too no he was not a runner <laughs> so, well, what inspired your dad sounds like he I was an I anomaly his, my dad's college professor um who he still is very close with and my dad's best friend all were into running when they were younger so they've so, done yeah. they did new york they've done the, the erie marathon um a couple others up in pennsylvania where they went to school but. of course you know it's every dad's dream to run with their kid so oh, is he yes. able to uh, get back that was out there the goal. Um, we're working towards that <laughs> my dad's um sister's husband so my dad's brother-in-law and my niece his daughter ran they're running the new york city marathon together next year uh -huh. um so i always nudge my dad i'm like hey dad we, that can be us too okay. so maybe in a couple of years we'll see we're uh -huh. going to start with 5ks and half marathons to get him back into uh -huh. it but okay so you I think he'd plan. really like that yes all oh, right <laughs> well is there anything else you want to cover that we didn't cover um well you're going to do new york again but this year's yes. new york is even extra special because it's the 50th it is it's the 50th anniversary i see the the signs and the the posters up for it already on like the subways and the, the merchandise it's going to be. Are you going to be year. doing it in, in behalf I of think I'll, um I have my entry, but I'll probably do it as a guide again, too. I think okay. it's just a rewarding experience being able to, to guide somebody. Um, it's, 
I highly recommend everyone to come oh, out course, to an Achilles workout once. Of course. Well, that's a very, very uh, unselfish thing to do because mm -hmm. you're actually you're giving up potentially a good time in mm -hmm. order to have a better time right. we're running with it's another so person. It's so much fun. Like, and it's, it's tough. Like, there are times where your athlete doesn't want to run or wants to take a break, um, wants to stop, and you're really there for them. So it's you go at their pace. You're there to support them. It's not about you. And it is a selfless thing. It's, I could not be happier with the organization. I'm so happy that I got in touch with them and am, am an active part of what they do. Excellent. Excellent. Well, Achilles is great. Well, I think what we can wrap up, so thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Thank you. had a great conversation with Gotta Run With Will. You can find this on the Gotta Run With Will YouTube page. As for me, next up is the London Marathon this April. You can find my fundraising details on social media. Gotta run. <laughs>